The Diagnostics ADA button permits us to interrogate the pacemaker memory. ADA stands for Automatic Interpretation for Diagnosis Assistance. Here we can evaluate a summary of measurements taken over the past six months. Heart rate, A and V pacing percentages, time in AF, and time in activity. We observe that the heart rate is relatively stable. We do see variations in atrial pacing percentage between 0 and 20 percent. We don't see detection of atrial arrhythmias and the patient activity is not shown in this case. We perform a systematic evaluation through the device recordings by working through the tabs. We proceed now to pacer PM. When we select heart rate curve, we can see day-by-day -day curves of the patient's heart rate. In green, the intrinsic rhythm, and in blue, the paced rhythm, which in this case is atrial pacing. Auto sensing will show the amplitudes of the sinus P waves and of the P waves during mode switch during the last two months. We observe that the amplitudes during sinus rhythm and during mode switch are much larger than the programmed sensitivity shown here. The same for the ventricle, for intrinsic R waves and for premature ventricular complexes. Again, all events are sensed at amplitudes by far larger than the sensitivity. Statistics will reveal global pacemaker functioning. We see that most of the time the patient is in intrinsic rhythm, both in the atrium and in the ventricle, and that the safer mode is nearly always active. Other important information will be displayed here, such as the number of pacemaker-mediated tachycardias, one in this case. Another important element to judge is the quality of the leads. When you select details, we can find noise cycles for the atrium and ventricle. Ideally, these numbers are zero, which is almost the case in this patient, so the leads are in good condition. Lead measurements here for the ventricle show sensed amplitudes, the impedances, and when the automatic threshold testing is active, acquired values will also be displayed on the bottom curve. Same for the atrium detection, impedance, and threshold. Since automatic threshold testing is not programmed, the auto threshold is grayed out and we cannot access it. At the end we can find the battery curve, very important to follow in any pacemaker. We can see that the battery impedance remains under 1 kilo ohms. After a while, this curve will rise and reach the red bar at 10 kilo ohms when replacement is indicated. Using these screens we have a global impression of the functioning of the pacemaker, but it is important to still separately test the leads. We proceed to arrhythmias where we can see a mode switch which occurred when the patient had an atrial arrhythmia. Here we clearly see atrioventricular association with only AS-VS complexes. The atrial arrhythmia starts here. We can see that the AV conduction remains intact for all cycles. The fast atrial cycles triggers the pacemaker into suspicion mode. 
and at a certain moment the arrhythmia stops. At the same moment the pacemaker has performed a mode switch, where the ventricular lower rate will slowly drop from 120 to 50 beats per minute. We can also observe here that ventricular pacing is associated with retrograde VA conduction. Between every V pace we see an atrial sensed event. The ventricular pacing is progressively slowed and at the end there are a certain number of cycles during the mode switch that the pacemaker decides that the atrial arrhythmia has terminated here and the pacemaker switches back to DDD mode. In fact the AAI safer mode which was initially programmed. We see here first atrial events in the refractory period AR and now they are sensed AS. Here we see the list of saved episodes. The episodes should be systematically evaluated. A way to investigate the atrioventricular conduction is to go to AV conduction tab here. This way the function of the AAI safer algorithm can be evaluated. The algorithm records the number of mode switches to DDD categorized by conduction disturbance. For example here an episode of second degree AV block with blocked atrial events here, here and here. This is a 2 to 1 AV block which triggers the mode switch to DDD mode. Because the criterion of 3 non-conducted P waves in the window of 12 is met. Pauses, for example here a pause, where the pacemaker will perform a mode switch after a pause of 2 seconds. While in DDD mode we don't see ventricular pacing as the AV conduction is faster than the programmed AV delay at this rate. This patient does not have episodes of first or third degree AV block. We now go to AV block episode history where we see the amount of blocked P waves. We can also get an idea of the AV delay in function of the heart rate. At higher heart rates the AV delay shortens.